Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Carl's Tech Shed. Right, well what I've got for you today is uh, a series of uh, FPGA uh, PCI cards which I picked up on eBay um, a few months back. Now uh, I paid 99 pence for these, uh, for all three of them with £2 delivery on top, which was ridiculously cheap. Um, I'll be honest with you, I have absolutely no use for them. Um, also I can't get any drivers for them either because DSPTools.com don't have any drivers for these particular cards anymore. But they're rather interesting so uh, I'll let you have a look at them. Now they're all, all three of them are joined together by two of these 60-pin uh, ribbon cables. Now originally I thought these were 50-pin cables, but when I counted, um, I put a normal 50-pin SCSI next to it. It's a little bit shorter, um, so these are actually 60 60-pin 60 cables, which are daisy chaining each of the two cards, two FPGA cards, to the controller card. Um, I say there's two of them on each. Um, on each board. Now on the back of the actual card there's a series of these uh, I'm not sure actually sure what these are called, they are, they're either high frequency or um, high bandwidth um, connectors. Um, the only time I've ever seen these are usually in um, oscilloscopes and um, spectrum analyzers, things like this. Uh, I've, I can't say I've seen them on, well I haven't seen an FPGA card before but um, I just found it a bit unusual for them to be on there. Uh, there's also uh, a little blue connector down the end here, which is on the controller card, which I'll let you have a closer look at. If I just flip these up, as I say, both of these FPGA cards are identical. Um, I'll go into more detail on those in a moment. Now, this is the controller card. As you can see, you've got um, a PLX PCI bridge, um, which would interface the rest of the boards to the PCI bus. Um, you've got a couple of uh, analog devices, uh, uh, analog to digital converters here. You've got some buffer memory. Um, you've got some interface chips here. Uh, there's another Xilinx chip here. Uh, I'm not actually sure it does. Um, I don't think it's an FPGA, but I could be wrong. Um, there's another identical chip here, which is um, for this. It looks like it's to control this interface here. So it could be an FPGA, but I'm not sure. Uh, there's some simple power management over here that looks like there's a little uh, voltage regulator there. Um, now on top here we've got, as I say, we've got two 60-pin connectors on either side. Now if we flip this card over, we've got, we come to the first FPGA card, which has uh, eight of these uh, Xilinx FPGA chips on. Uh, you've also got a small quantity of memory up the top here. I'm not 100% certain what size this is, but I don't think it would be very much because these are about 12 years old, so um, probably only a, a handful of megs. Um, and again, the top card is again identical to the one below. Now, I've got a friend of mine who's quite into uh, Bitcoin mining, and apparently he said that FPGAs would be ideal for um, mining Bitcoins. So uh, I gave him a part number, he's looked it up, and uh, I told him there were 16 of these um, across the two cards. And he calculated that if he were to be able to interface these and configure them correctly, um, he should be able to get something around uh, 21 giga hashes per second, which he said was incredibly high um, compared to a normal standard piece. PC. Um, so I suppose that's one use for, for them. Um, obviously with FPGAs you can do, um, there's li you're only limited by your imagination um, pretty much, so uh, I suppose if you get the drivers and configure them correctly you could do an awful lot with them, but unfortunately without the drivers you can't really do much. So if anyone's got any drivers for these or um, knows where I can get hold of them, please get in contact, send me a message through YouTube and uh, I'll do my best to do another video um, if I can get these up and running and um, we'll see what we can do with them. Well thanks for watching and uh, I should have some, new, some more videos up shortly.